Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Ask Anthony, where I take all of your burning life advice questions and help you figure out when to take the plunge. And just before we start, please don't forget to drop me a comment down below and hit that like button if you like anything that I have to say. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this where I answer your life advice questions every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Also, hit me up on social media under the hashtag AskAnthony where you can get your life advice question answered in a video just like this. Now, my boy Mike at MDL1218 on Instagram hit me up via DM and asks, Hey Anthony, I'm a man in my prime just like you. <laughs> but I'm wondering, how do you manage to deal with social norms, friends and family in regards to getting married when you don't have any plans to within five years? And guys, don't forget to visit Mike on Instagram at MDL1218. Listen, if you're into fitness or you have any fitness questions, this is the guy to go to. Trust me. Now, listen, Mike, with the exception of the belief in reincarnation, we only get one shot at this thing called life. One time, that's it. One. And as I've stated in my previous videos, most of my life advice hinges on the principle of limiting future regret whenever possible. <laughs> Marriage as it is viewed is evolving. Now it's becoming more of the norm for people to get married later in life once they've established their career and educational goals. But unfortunately, society's view of marriage still has that age limit, still has that threshold of once you start getting close to it, you're gonna start feeling some pressure. And you will feel that pressure even if people don't walk up to you and outright ask you, hey, when are you gonna get married? But you'll start noticing more and more of your friends getting married, sometimes even your younger siblings getting married. And before you know it, you'll be going to three weddings a month and have to start collecting aluminum cans for recycling in order to make enough money to pay for all of the wedding gifts. Plus, add in the biological implications associated with this subject regarding childbirth. I mean, women tend to have even more pressure on them to marry and have kids earlier because once you hit that certain age, that biological clock starts to tick real loud. And let's be real, that question of, hey, when are you gonna get married? Most often comes from your family and friends. But here's the thing, while our family and friends may always want what's best for us, they may not always know exactly what's best for us. See, now I'm gonna get a bunch of angry phone calls from my friends and family now. Like, oh, you don't think I know what's best for you? All right. So the question remains, how do you deal with all the pressure? Well, just like anything that begins to creep into your relationship, the number one thing you must do is communicate with your partner. But don't forget, pressure can also come from your partner if your guy's plans aren't exactly aligned. But you need to put everything out on the table and let them know where you stand. Because if you don't see marriage in your plans in the next five years, you need to let them know. This is a time where brutal honesty is extremely necessary. Trust me, by sending mixed signals and sugarcoating things, you are not helping either one of you. But if you let them know, this is the deal, I feel very strongly about this, I probably won't change, please respect my feelings about this, at least you have drawn your line in the sand and they know exactly where you stand on the matter. Now hopefully your guys' plans coincide and everything is a lot easier, but if they don't, then nobody can say that you weren't 100% honest or that the other person didn't understand exactly what you meant. And if you feel like marriage is a possibility, then have this conversation as early as possible. Now, I wish I could help you with ways to tune out the pressure and influence, but I can't other than telling you that it's a distraction and it doesn't really matter. It shouldn't have an effect on your life. But getting on the same page with your partner will help you both not give a f about what everybody else has to say anyway. You and your potential spouse are the only ones that will have to deal with the consequences of your decision. So it is not fair to let anybody else have any influence over it. This should most likely help you to avoid being on the Maury show sometime down the road. Anyway, thank you so much, Mike, for the awesome question, man. And guys, don't forget to go follow Mike on Instagram and all of his other social media. And until next time, keep those life advice questions coming in via social media to hashtag AskAnthony and help me help you.